also have a parallel career, is that correct? Yes, I own my own catering company. Um, actually, I started working for that, that place when I was 18, and I was still DJing with the coup going on and off the road, and then it got to a point where I can buy the place, and I ended up buying it. So you went to culinary school and became um, a chef? I didn't even go to school. It was this one lady, her name is Sherry, and she took me under her wing and showed me the ropes. And ever since then, I've just taken over, and now I've owned the business for the past three years. So you cook everything? I cook desserts, everything. Entrees? Uh, we do entrees. We don't do a lot of desserts. We used to do wedding cakes. We don't do those anymore. So we, I do strictly weddings. I'm a caterer for weddings, bar mitzvahs, parties, graduations, anything. But we specialize in weddings. We work six months out of the year pretty much. So that's why in the summertime, I don't really have any time to do anything because people get married every weekend, Saturday right. and Sunday. You know, like right now in the winter, it's okay for me. I'm, I slow down in October, November, then I'm back to business in December with Christmas parties, and I slow down again in January and February, and then March, April, May, June, July, August, September, I'm back to seven days a week. So, so the coup plans their touring schedule around the wedding season? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the concept of mixing food and mixing music are very, very similar. Well, yeah, you gotta use a light touch. You gotta know when to come in and when not to, when to put your spices in and how much, you know? So DJing is, is pretty similar. You know, you're mixing, you're blending, you know, uh, I touch the food, but I don't touch it like I touch the turntables, you know, so.